My my anxiety my anxiety is here. And I don't I don't know why. Someone help me. It's just like ah. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Everything's fine. What was I doing again? <laughs> we have to go back to... We have to go back to Fletz. We just killed a dragon. I forgot how to get out of here! <laughs> I'll figure it out. nothing that's what you're doing okay gives me a chance to heal a little bit. Really? You fucker! today. I think I go this way, right? need to remember how to people. Yeah, wait, no. I should be going to the other pl the Fueno. I need to go to Fueno. Oh, fuck are they doing outside? <laughs> oh my god, every fucking time this stretch of land. Run away! Oh 
Okay, bye. Mom is going to need to remember how to people, too, because she had the weekend off and stuff, so... Wait, no, I did want to check out your wares. I'm sorry. What the f fuck are people doing outside? Yes, please go ahead and just explode something outside. It's Klee. Klee's outside, blowing things up. it is. I mean, it sounded like a bomb went off outside. The end? No, wait. It's not the end. I did. I changed it back to the uh, stronger one. Almost didn't get up today. I was so sleepy. I didn't sleep well last night. I got up like a half, like a, like forty minutes ago. <laughs> defeated the monster on the prison island and the female bandit. What's wrong? You have a long face. I'm ready to go back to Fletz and triumph. Uh, you know about that. The moon dagger is kind of gone. Lloyd has it. Sorry. I like the ocean. Okay? Yourself flow in the waves and winds. Problems of this world become not a problem at all. Here's an idea, Dart. Why don't you come with me on the ocean? Dart, you would make a good sailor, or even a great man of the sea. What? No, we can't. We still have something to take care of. I understand, it's a shame, though. Dart, as soon as you're ready, just come aboard. Meet you on the boat! Be ready for departure! I can get there. 
Am I ready? Yeah. Casting off! Getting ready to cast off! What? Oh! I can move it now! What? <laughs> of course! Are you fucking serious? Fucking crab! trouble on the way over here and now suddenly there's monsters. I see how it is. Uh, yep, okay. I was waiting for it. You all knew it was gonna happen. needs to catch up in like levels. What can she do? Freezing ring. Okay. So Frost Nova. <laughs> Poison, please. Uh, 
Yeah, she's getting there. How many how many monsters can we run into before we get back to Flets? That's the question. again. fucking floss or something? <laughs> sure. I'm doing it, you just- you can't tell because my arms don't move. <laughs> I don't have that fancy, like, hand tracking or whatever. to install the floss animation. You're right, I do. <laughs> A salute for F. <laughs> and dab, yeah. We need all the cool kid things. Cool gamer things. Let's see how angry the king gets when he finds out that we did not get the dagger. Like, oh, sorry. That one fucker already took it. And Sesameel is here! Let's go! Graceful steps, dainty movement of the hands, her gracious eyes. She must be, she is our Princess Emile. Princess Emile is back! Have returned after a half year of sleep. My father, King Zior, wouldn't say it. But I heard that the evil doings of the sinner who feigned to be me has harmed our people in Tiberoa. I can say it is my fault. These people were wounded by trusting someone they thought was me. I'm determined to make atonements for this, even if it takes forever. Wasn't your fault, your majesty! Please don't blame yourself, your highness! Returning only makes us happy! We owe you a debt of gratitude. I love this country. I love you people. Let us make this country continue to be a wonderful country. A favor to ask you, Princess Emile. I ask you to name my baby, my soon to be born baby, Your Highness. It'd be my pleasure. How about. Oh. E EA? EA? For a girl and Al for a boy. They have the sound of great energy and strength. They're beautiful names. I 
thank you very much, your highness. God bless Princess Emile! God bless Tiberoa Kingdom! Oh my god! Best for the kingdom and us! Princess Emile, how beautiful she is. Albert? <laughs> you have a crush? Just like I imagine. Oh, thank you, Lord, for leading me to the country of Princess Emile. Oh my god. Something wrong? Oh. Oh! <laughs> oh, no? Where's Princess Emile? Oh my god. Bro. Meet her again in the castle. Dude! How old- how old is Albert again? Oh god, hi. Waiting for you, sir. Please proceed to the Chamber of the Sun. Salute to the seven returning heroes. Yeah, uh, about, about that. Wait, that's the wrong way. I knew that. The bear. <laughs> the bear. Does it not look like a bear? Hi, we don't have the dagger. Oh, he killed that one bitch. Heroes, forget about formality. We're the special guests of Tiberoa. It does if you do a lot of drugs. <laughs> Welcome back. Glad you're safe and sound. Sister is now acting as if nothing happened. Until you came back, King Albert. She had lost her appetite completely. Oh! Not only a meal. We're longing for all of you to come back. Well done. But moon daggers still in their hands. Stop it! People brought justice upon the evil bandits. Defeated the sea dragon that infested Elisa Bay. It was you, young people, who brought peace and happiness to Tiberoa and brought smiles back to our people. However, the moon dagger has to be passed on to Princess Emile. Moon dagger is a mere royal tradition. Tradition alone doesn't put smiles on our people's faces. It's all the moon dagger can be. Yeah, but it's like. An important item? King Albert, we are satisfied with the way things turned out. Instead of the moon dagger, we found something else to hand down. That is, the heroic story of you. Passed down through the ages from person to person. Seven stars arose from the east to save the country, the king who lives in the chamber of the sun. My pleasure, your majesty. That's enough for formality. We're having a banquet for you. Please enjoy yourself. The banquet a party? Plainly speaking, yes it is. Cool! It's a party! A party for us! Meru, behave and be quiet! Oh, she's cheerful and excited. Still have time before the party. Please feel free to relax. Let's prepare for the banquet. Seems we can relax for the first time in a long time tonight. I think so too. We have to leave here tomorrow. It's a good chance to relax. Ella Sisso, country where Dart was born. We'll be busy again. Be walking around till the party starts. Okay, bye everybody. Hey. Where are you going? I have an errand to do. You going too, Rose? Let me go too. Okay, bye everybody! <laughs> to appreciate what everyone did. 
Why don't we go out too? Oh, I love you, Dart. So does everybody else. I was little. Never changed. Even when you went on your dirt journey, Dart. Actually, started to love you even more. Because while you were gone, I was thinking about you every single day. Shanna. So I don't mind being your baby sister. I can be with you every day. It's just how I think. I don't think of you as a baby sister, Shanna. I... Continue this after our journey is over, all right? Oh? Oh, whoa? <laughs> There's always somebody that just busts in. Dart, welcome back! What's wrong? You have such a sour face! <laughs> you think so? Anyway, you're famous in the city hero who defeated the dragon that descended down on Tiberoa. You say so. It still doesn't feel like it's real. It's your modest attitude. You are our time's latest hero. Uh... By the way, the party's starting. Get rid of your sour face and be happy. See you later. <laughs> Cock block. Oh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Dart, Miss Shanna, why are you here? Waiting for the party to start. Starting soon. Please get everyone or I cannot prepare the dresses. I'll see you later. <laughs> Going to look for everybody. Fucking rip. I know who Princess Emile's in love with. Oh. Oh, wow. Of course, we're heroes. We're the best heroes. Fine, I want to see the party food. Not going to eat now. We just want to sample the food. It is eating. Come on, please get out. You're delaying, delaying the preparation. <laughs> oh my god, these two. Mr. Dart, please stop them. Wars never choose their time. You have to eat whenever you can. It's a basic understanding for a warrior. You want to eat too, don't you, Dart? I... Yes. Stop it. You're not a kid anymore. You too, Hashel. Party's starting soon. Behave yourself. Is that true? Didn't you say so? Yes, I'm here to tell you that. Come on, let's go. Oh. Uh... Hungle. As friends. Friends of different species. Not bad. Ah! <laughs> Don't do that. That's what I should say. Did you hear Congo speaking? Not really. By the way, the party is starting. Hey, 
I am um, a hero. You would laugh at me. I laughed now. I did laugh. I can laugh? Damn. So I've started to wear this choker. Not laughed for years. It's worth the wait. Oh, you're here. I'm here to tell you that the party's starting. It'll be a fun party. Okay. Who's <laughs> this dude running around? Do <laughs> we need more people? Oh, he's like freaking out. party is starting soon. I'm looking for everybody. <laughs> I have a pretty good guess of where fucking Al is. God, you think there's an- those- the princesses must be in really good shape with all these fucking stairs leading up to their rooms. Yep, I knew it! I fucking knew it! How about the legend of the mermaid? No? Please tell me about it. The king of some country is gazing out over the waves of the sea and thinking his life is hollow, just like the vanishing bubbles. Everything looked like that because the king didn't know true love. <laughs> Body must be firm. These princesses are swole. Under the waves, a mermaid was thinking the same things while gazing at the clouds in the sky. Hi. What happened to the two of them? <laughs> Would you like to know? A secret story handed down only within the Sardio royal family, so cannot tell you anymore. Oh. I'm sorry I can't go on. Why did you bother telling, like, starting the story if you can't tell the whole thing? You're teasing me. I'm having a fabulous time. I notice the passing of time when I'm talking with you. Oh. Interrupted. I knew it. You're <laughs> here. <laughs> Something wrong? Party's starting soon, so I'm calling everybody down. It's already that time. Fortunately, I have to leave you. When can we meet again? Stars fill the sky. God. <laughs> and simply say tonight. <laughs> At the party? That's everybody. By the way, she was saying something about dresses, but where should we go? Ask Bria about it. God, so many stairs. This would kill me.
seems everyone is here. Miss Shanna, Miss Rose, and Miss Meru, please come this way. You have to change into the dresses. What? Dresses? Talking about us? Yes, I am. Princess Emil and Princess Lisa insist. Good for you! <laughs> no thanks. It's not like you. I'm a dancer! I can't dance well in those dresses. No thanks for me, either. I feel naked without my sword. Let's wait in the living room. We'll come and take you there later. Beer Jesus, thank you for the follow. <laughs> the thing is ready. Please proceed to the chamber of the sun. It's a banquet to honor the seven heroes who saved Tiberoa. Please enjoy yourselves to the utmost. you do to Shanna? Do I didn't do anything. No Shanna here. No? Kongol tall. Kongol doesn't see from here. Where is she? Mr. Dart! Me for us! Oh no. You must be Mr. Dart. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> he friends owned her more. <laughs> Dying to hear your story. Oh, excuse me, but monopolizing him is not fair. Please let me hear your story too. I'd like to know more about you. God. <laughs> oh my, don't be so fresh with him. I talked to him first. Oh god, ladies, please. Oh, you must be Mr. Hashel. I'll take care of things here. You should go and enjoy yourself with Shanna. It's tonight. You have to make good use of the time you two are together. Thank you. Meru! <laughs> she looks like she's having fun. You enjoying yourself? Yep! It's fun! Are you gonna dance too? I'll try! <laughs> Right on! Where's Shanna? Oh no. Go look for her. She should be waiting for you. Come on, go! She's just spinning around and being so happy. Wow. Okay. Shanna should be already here. Where is she? Oh, oh my god, Albert! <laughs> have to go to Millis Sisseau with Dart. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you forever! Emil, well said. The future of Sergio and Tiberoa is shining like the sun. I believe love is the only entity that never changes over time. And distance makes the love grow deeper. Oh my god, these two. Not watch this anymore. What's wrong? You have a long face. This place is PDA City! <laughs> if you're looking for Shanna, she's not here. Yeah, I am looking for her. Where the fuck did she go? Mr. Dart! This Rose needs you. My lover is Emil. She and I are having a dragoon themed wedding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rose? Dart. Why are you procrastinating like that? Do you want her to catch a cold or something? Making her wait all night like that? Try I was trying to look for her. She's over there. Oh. You look beautiful. 
Thank you. But, all thanks to this dress. It's not true. And Dart's just in his armor. <laughs> Look, a falling star. Wonder if my wish will come true. It will. Because I wish the same thing. Oh. Are they gonna get interrupted this time? <laughs> what? Oh? Oh? Oh! <sighs> okay. Here we go again. Let's see if I remember how to do this. It's time to not break the save, yeah. It's time to... Copy, paste, just in case I fuck it up. We did it. We didn't break it. Back on the ocean again. Chapter 3, Fate and Soul. It still took us like an hour to get here. Chase. There's the smell of blood around this place, but... Not bad at all. Been a long time. Been here? Um, yeah. Well, I'm very popular, that's why. <laughs> Boom hour! <laughs> Congo cross sea, first time. Bernie the Water City. This port is the front door to Millis. <coughs> oh god, I can't talk. Mille Sisso. Anyway, I wonder why Lloyd revealed his destination to us. Probably because he's like an arrogant asshole? Still don't know. Albert Hauer. <laughs> Whatever he wants, this will be the end of it. I agree. For the sake of the victims so far. It's not only that. In order to prevent there being new victims, we have to stop Lloyd. so many new buildings to go into and steal things from. Sitting next to a fishing rod. Is this used for fishing too? Oh! Hey! I miss Levitz. 
No, I shouldn't have read the tale about fairies in the evergreen forest. Why? Son said he wants to meet fairies in the evergreen forest. It's the problem of being too peppy. <laughs> Amos Smith. It's a good game. I'm really enjoying it. I'm happy that I had it recommended to me. <laughs> when I was a child, I saw reality in fairy tales, too. It's part of the growing up process to know when a story is just a story. A duck-shaped window decoration? I love it. I want one. I want 20. Kids toy. I used to play with it. To drawer in another person's house, I should- What do you mean you shouldn't open it? You should. You should take everything they have, like a proper RPG. Hey, kid, wait. You know what? There are fairies living in the evergreen forest. My storybook says so. Fairies in the evergreen forest, I want to see them. Let's keep mentioning evergreen forests over and over again. warm because of the warm currents, but if you go inland, it suddenly becomes cold. So this country, the royal capital, Deningrad, and the Crystal Palace are musts to see. Yeah, I found one dust. The village is built in a bay. Boats are important because it's the only way to get around. This village you can't get by without having a boat. Everything says Ferdy the Water City. These are just knickknack souvenirs. My favorite kind of fucking souvenirs. Dart by 20. Can I not shop here without a boat? Excuse me? Can I not shop here without a boat? <laughs> the fuck kind of a business is this? Oh, wait, here we go. Hey. The incident, the sales of items has increased a lot. I don't know if I should be happy or sad. The incident, my items sell well. Yeah, sell me things. You're not going to sell me things unless I'm on the other side of the counter, are you? You fucker. Oh, what's going on here? Uh, hi. Seems to be all of us. Now, I'll explain the strategy. To overcome the white wolf called Kamui. It lives in the evergreen forest between this village and Deningrad. Oh, another boss, huh? Did you call us just for that? Not only that, a boy from the village, Tio, disappeared in the evergreen forest. Strategy is simple. All of us will beat the bushes all over the evergreen forest. Gonna set it on fire? Promise a five times larger prize for the one of you who defeats Kamui. Promise the same for the one who saves Tio. It's gonna be me! I'm itching to do it. Who are you? Never seen you before. <clears throat> Look like you have a chance, but I'm getting the prize. Don't ever disturb me! Hey, whoa, okay. Scared out of your wits and cannot talk? Cut it out! We have to cooperate or we cannot overcome Kamui. <clears throat> oh. Jeez. Chill, buddy. Let you know when we will start. Until then, you have some free time. You're dismissed. And we just go back to the very pleasant 
village music. Buy this and that with the prize. Okay. I'm so. Just one wolf? I'll shoot it with my arrow. Prize is mine! Yeah, sure. It's just one wolf. That's what they all say. And then they fucking die. Sorry about Bul Bulgus's disrespect. Everybody's feeling uptight before the battle with the savage wolf. Please excuse them. I understand. I'm not here to overcome the wolf. Mm. Be careful moving forward on your journey. Do we get the prize if we kill the wolf? I'm going to leave tomorrow. What if we leave today? What if we leave right now? You would think this guy would have a stardust in his house, but I guess not. Hi. Just three years ago, Tio brought back an injured wolf cub. That wolf. 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 wolf? family we're talking about. Tio's basement after seeing the mayor. Okay. Cannot imagine it. Although Kamui's wolf, it was very affectionate to people. Was. A lot of this kind of plant and ferny. Seems to have something to do with the warm sea. You mean that palm tree? Yeah, no shit. I to go to the National Library in Denningrad. Warriors too, right? Do something about the wolf! Chill. We'll definitely be forced to do something about the wolf, because we're the main characters, and we have to deal with everything. Oh, Jamie! Are you becoming a people again? That's good. Be right with you. It's the license for the boat. Mayor gave us an order to rent the boat to warriors for free. Warriors? Well? the warriors who came to overcome the wolf, aren't you? Uh, yes we are. Yes we are. You look fishy, though. Uh, no we don't. We're warriors. Cannot give it to you because something is fishy about you. Fuck. Well, we tried. <laughs> oh, the fishy people. Give me a boat! Should the warriors who came here to defeat the wolf? No. I say no. We're just travelers who just arrived from Tiberoa today. Tiberoa? With that huge boat? Yes, this is Queen Fury. Well, wait a minute. One, two, three, seven? Should you be the famous dart and companions who conquered the sea dragon in Elisa Bay? Yes, the stories traveled all the way here. Fun! Let the mayor know about this! Be happy to hear about this. I guess lying is really no way to go. <laughs> Here it is, license for the boat. Take it! Thank you. I have to thank you. Thanks to you, we can go fishing and go to Tiberoa. If you need anything, just drop by. We have accommodations, too. I'll give you a good price! Jeez. Is there a save point in here? Yeah. There we go. Did I 
just accidentally take the way out? Oh. Oh my god, there's so many places! No, oh, bye. Hi, you're in the way. Sorry, but this road is closed. Take another road. Why? Why are you standing in front of it like an asshole? Coming yet? Heroes from Tiberoa. Hello, we are here. Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, I couldn't sit still. I was just pacing around waiting for you. The story of your heroic deeds in Tiberoa has reached us here in Fernie. It's wonderful what you did. Now I would like you to listen to my story. B please wait, I don't know what you're talking about! I'd like to talk briefly about the sad situation in this village. Would you please listen to me? Okay. Almost people. This is my daughter, Fa. Mulan? A few days ago, my daughter was attacked by a wolf. Fortunately, the injury was not bad. However, since then, she hasn't talked at all. Probably from the shock of the incident. Poor thing. The wolf is becoming more savage every day. I've been joined by the monsters from the Evergreen Forest, and they attack people. C. The warriors outside are the group headed for battle. Indeed. If we finish off the wolf, your daughter may become better. How would that make the daughter better? Yeah, but... Gerd is not contagious. But I guess just in case it's something else. You also have a cold. Oh, Jamie. more complicated than that. A wolf called Kamui that attacked Fa was kept by a boy of this village until recently. The boy who kept Kamui named Tio has disappeared. On the night Fa was injured, Tio disappeared from his home. Probably he feels responsible and ran away. <laughs> I'm exhausted because allergies and I didn't sleep well last night. Tio has been Fa's friends since they were little. They're best friends. And you want us to cooperate with you on your mission? Yes. Rip everyone with noses. Oh. We have a lot of warriors. Maybe they're enough. No, they aren't. You need some dragoons. Sorry about this. I made you listen for such a long time without thinking about you at all. It's my apology. Why don't you stay at my house for the night? It'd be an honor to entertain heroes. Well. Oh. Oh god, I need a tissue. I'm dying. Rip me. Allergies. Oh god. Do you like Shanna? For tonight only. Thank you. I'm glad. Fa is happy too. She's been lonely since her mother passed away. Now let me see. You're ready to stay? Come back. Prepare dinner with Fa. Is <laughs> that easy? New pickup line. It would be honored to have you stay at my place tonight. 
Oh. Guys, got anything good in here? Where are we gonna? Where are you gonna put seven people? Where are you gonna put seven people? Just gonna make us sleep on the fucking floor? <laughs> Triple bunk it. Boats work. dying. Let's go to this person's house first. Wait, I've already been in here! Back up! Beep! 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 Back up the boat! Item of choice now. Uh oh. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Better replace your weapons. You know what's good for you. Avoid prettification. I don't know what the fuck escape rate is. There you go, Congo. We might as well get you something nice. The heroes from Tiberaa? Seems there's no need for you to show up. Well, okay. Fuck you then. Yes. 
have dinner. Food. Aww. My nose. Dear, are you sleepy? Want to go to bed together? Probably she wants warmth. Go to bed together. Boba. Got some boba. Ashel, what are you doing creeping on those two? It's a lullaby. Isn't it a lovely tune? tune is a lullaby that I'm dedicating to my future baby. Might be better for her than mastering the martial arts. <laughs> She's sleeping now. a sweet tune? Learn this from Dart. Dart knew this tune? He said that his late mother sang to him. A special lullaby for Dart. What? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> what? I see, it was not a coincidence for me to be here. That means Claire is Dart's mom? And also, so that means that Hashel is Dart's Grandfather? I'm going to get some air. Reminds me that Dart's been outside on the roof forever. Why don't you join him? Meru! God damn it! Tune from my memory. Do you remember? You first came to sell us. I was little and you used to sing the song to me. I remember that. Back then I used to take care of you as if you were my real baby sister, Shanna. Huh. <laughs> like a baby sister. Many things have changed since then. You and I too, Dart. Yeah, you and I too, Shanna. Yes, we have. Such compelling dialogue. Childhood friend. Hmm. Wonder how my childhood friend is doing. Moon that never sets. Hadn't noticed. But the moon has been involving itself in our journey. now. I can leave any time. You really okay? You can stay here forever if you like. Wow. Thank you very much, but I really have to go. I'll see you soon. Let's go. We have to find Lloyd soon or it'll be too late. I'm with you. in the forest became savage like Camui. Please be careful. Oh, 
Wow, that bastard's finally not blocking the path anymore. Hi. I'm found. We have so many warriors. Tio will come back safe. It was our son. He should be okay. Calm down. Calm down! Calm down! Kamui's a monster now. It's not the Kamui before. Oh no, Tio! Tio! Kamui must have forgotten about you. Tio, oh no! Oh no! Hey, cooking tools. There must be a glutton living here! Start, please. the forest. Okay. It's a good spot to take a break. About to take a break! Are the bears in the forest? Are we gonna see our very first bear? In the forest? I think. <laughs> I'll be right back and then we'll go into the forest and go after the wolfie.
I almost forgot my water when I came back, but I remembered. I remembered. I'm so proud of myself. We did save, right? Let's save at least 10 more times just to make sure. Oh man, which way do we go? This way. What is... Hi! How are you? Are you gonna steal what's in this chest? No. Okay. Should I equip somebody with that? I feel like I should. Let's give it to Shanna. That might might be an idea, you know? Because petrification's a real pain in the ass. What oh trees. Moss dresser. Wallpaper and my computer changes. It makes the game hiccup. I apologize for that. I don't know why. I think it's the emulator. Safe point already? I don't like that. trees. I don't have any wind items. That's nice. Go! 
Maybe it'll attack itself in its confusion. Now, given my luck, it usually doesn't. Moss dresser, yeah! Apparently it's a dresser. Allergies are on fire. Fucking cotton floating around. Okay, where am I going? Oh! Probably that way. Is it spelled that way in the menu, too? Yeah, it's spelled evergreen first. As far as you got on your last playthrough. Oh. That's... Oh, no! Took the PlayStation? How awful! I don't think either of these things are bears. Dark Elf, Forest Runner, yeah. Dark Elf, are we playing EQ now?
Oh. Hi. What's up? Please go ahead. Remember, I have some important errand to do. What? Catch up with you soon. Look for Lloyd in the meantime. O okay, bye! She's mysterious as always. Remember, I have an errand too! Not going to tell us the reason either, Mero? <sighs> Just visiting my parents, that's all. Well, you should have said so. Miss you, Mero. Be back soon! Wait! See it, wait! Typical of Meru. Let's move on. Are you fucking kidding me now? Bruh. We just had half our party fucking leave. I guess I'm going the right way, which I didn't intend to do. Oh my god, I'm never gonna get used to that. Oh, my nose is killing me. Dark Souls stream last night was very sus. I didn't watch a lot of it. I watched a little bit. Pastel was not kidding when it seems it seems like Dark Souls attracts all the weirdos. Okay, so it's two punches. Dream guy looks like her dad, really? <laughs> oh, 
Oh. What? Wait. No. I don't want to leave yet. <laughs> I want to get all the treasure. Oh, it's a fake account. Wow. That's amazing. Is it fairy or fury? I think on the men that the menu says it says flurry. Okay. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> Voice actors couldn't read. I guess not. Off limits from here. Nobody's allowed to go in. Well, okay then. Fairy does make more sense. Yeah, okay. That's a dead end. He says flurry. Yeah, I've noticed that. And typos and stuff. Really? joys of 90s video game translations. Maybe the bears are a little further and we haven't seen a single bear.
Well, here we are trying to level up Meru and her additions, and then she just fucks off. Like, oh yeah, I need to go see my family. Bye. Peru, please. Congo is the only real friend, yeah. Starter with all the the pride cats with knives. Uh oh. I I've been tempted to get one. Oh god, I ha I have to remember who who made that. Somebody I follow on Instagram. That's doing that. Who is it? Fuck. <laughs> See the print. Oh my god! <laughs> Be gay, do crime. with this random child here. Hey! Help! I'll be killed! What? Oh, God! Is this Kamui? Everybody surround it! Finally, I found it! I'll get him and I'll get the five times larger prize. Let me kill it. Stop it! Tio, you're all right. Everybody listen, it was not Kamui's fault. It was a different monster that attacked Fa. Tio, leave Kamui. No way, because Kamui protected Fa, so I'll protect Kamui this time. Please don't kill Kamui. Tio, it's no longer the Kamui you knew. Many other people were attacked by it. Guys, let's grab Tio first. Stop it. <laughs> Oh! Tio! Pursue them! Wolf called Kamui. Say it used to be Tio's. Wonder why it became savage? No, oh, the only thing we know is that the wolf is a menace in the forest now. Are we supposed to do wolf first? Where's my phone? 
did I do with my phone? Here it is. I found it. How is it cute Take that the huskies the try to kill the cats? Joking. Oh shit, hi. This way's filled with monsters and is dangerous. Take another road. Oh, and this is the direction that I'm currently going in is not filled with monsters and dangerous. Uh-huh. Okay, there's nothing here. I'm trying to remember who it is that was making the cat pips. Yes. Go. <laughs> that up but it's fine I was gonna say, I take it this is a dead end. Oh, 
Okay. Oh no. Maybe cats might just be hiding. trying to find the cat pins but I can't I can't find them I know it's somebody I follow on Instagram I'll look for them later I'll look for them later That's about, like, everything in here, isn't it? Right, I guess we're gonna, uh, head out that one direction, then. I mean, I could also be falling asleep if it weren't so hot in the house right now. But it is very warm in my room. So needy and whiny. And they and they uh shed. They really, really shed. Your house is just covered in husky fur.
bird. Rad. Whoa. It's cold, cold. I'm from Tibero, and this cold weather is too harsh for me. Not warriors, it's too dangerous to go through the evergreen forest. Recently, the evergreen forest has become a nest of monsters. The animals turned into the monster. It's a warm day today, and this guy is like, Oh my god, it's so cold! Hi. Just married the other day. I'm as happy as a lark. Married and blessed by Bishop Dill. So happy now. Dille? I'm not trying to steal anything from your house. Looks like strong liquor. Oh. No, there's no stardust hiding in, in the spears. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're good on items. Everybody back before. Oh. Oh goodness, that's a name. <laughs> Daddy. That's quite the name you've got. I don't want to listen to somebody's preaching. Please. I cracked my spine with that stretch. Two, then go to the city's national library. You can find any book there. Wow, you have a lot of books, my dude. 
nerd. Out of my way. I, I just wanna wanna see if you you got things. You have things. You have a stardust in here. No. Well, fuck you. that the divine tree that lives in our heart the last fruit have been protected from evil by the signets created by the ancient winglies legend goes when the signet is broken the end of the world approaches oh that sounds important <laughs> just like the last fruit we humans are one of the fruits given life by the divine tree divine tree what is this final fantasy 9 the end of the world to be a mere legend. We must remove evil from our hearts and live in honesty. It's our mission as children of the divine tree. Have you seen my friends? Divine tree. I've never heard of it. Still don't know what the objectives are for Lloyd. Any information could be helpful. Oh, you must be travelers. Welcome to Denningrad. My name is Bishop Dill. Serve the divine tree. I'm Dart. This drawing is what we're talking about? Yes, it is. The divine tree. This is what we imagine. But he's seen the real tree. Nonetheless, we believe in the Divine Tree. It's the source of life and harmony. Wait, not only is this like Final Fantasy IX, but it's also like Secret of Mana. Why is it always a tree? Would you like to know more about the Divine Tree? Yes. Please. Please tell us about this tree. The Divine Tree is the tree of life. All life comes from this divine tree. In the beginning, nothingness filled the world. Then the creator saw descended from the sky. tree? That's a big tree. He and his followers created the world. In the end, Soa sowed a seed on the earth. The seed soon grew to be a great tree. This guy's voice is great. <laughs> the great tree bore 108 fruits, and various life forms arose from the ripened fruits. Thus, one hundred and eight forms of life were created to fill the world with life. The divine tree completed its role, but the story says it is still protected by the signet of Soa. Swah. 
it's like this. The world was established with a fate determined by Soa. God's tree sown by Soa is the divine tree. If you would like to find out more about this, you can go to the National Library. Is that the Millis' Soa National Library? Step into the treasury of knowledge. Or if I'm capable of receiving all this incredible luck and still remain calm. No, I cannot. The treasure of knowledge is shining and calling me! Albert, are you okay? Let's go! Nerd. I'm sure this tree exists, too. It's a, I'm sure the tree is an actual place we're going to be going to. Hi. Who are you people? Realize that you're talking to Librarian Oot? No, sorry. So what do you want? You interrupted my ceremony for no reason? Yes. I don't like stubborn old guys, because I want to be an adorable old guy. <laughs> it's not an anime game if you don't kill the god tree. Did you say something? Please wait. We were told by Bishop Dill that there's a wonderful library here. If you not, you can just go to the library. Oh, wait. I locked the door when I left. <laughs> Did you open the door? Love the opportunity to touch such treasures of intelligence. Right? Stop looking at me like that. I appreciate it. I'll let you in now. Such a haughty old guy. Say that. To do what we can do until Lloyd shows up. That's true. He used a dragon and a dragoon and Sertio and a Tiberoa. He obtained the cooperation of a wingly. I don't know what he will do here. Damn haughty old guy. That's how you pronounce that that word, isn't it? Or it, okay. <laughs> you know I'm bad at pronouncing things. It is a nice day today. People like you can't imagine how wonderful a quiet life is with just me and my wife. That's lovely. Got new stardust. That basket is maintained well. Women are running this country. Queen Ther Teresa. Four Sacred Sisters. All of them are went. Hey, wait, I remember Four Sacred Sisters. There's five. We haven't found one. Have we? No, we haven't even found one. Came here to the city to see the National Library. Heard about it, but it really did have an unbelievable number of books. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? We just saw a cutscene. Talking about a different cutscene? Came from Sertio to see the Crystal Palace. Never imagined it would be this dangerous of a journey. I mean, you're kind of traveling across countries with a lot of monsters. I don't know what you were expecting, my dude. During a war? Yeah, during a war! Oh, 
to play quietly in the house. How many times do I have to say play quietly in the house? God. Come on, Dart, stick your hand in the fire. There's got to be a stardust in there. A kid has a beard? Wait, he did? It does look like it. I don't think it actually- I don't think that kid actually does, but it does really look like it. Them pixels. Built with all those difficult books, it's boring. Little Gramps forever. Oh god, Albert's gonna be in here forever, isn't he? It's incredible! This is the knowledge source of Endinus. Go look for anything you want. Entire wall is filled with books. It's a lot of books. We can find out something about virages and the moon that never sets. Doesn't looking at these things all the time have an effect on you? Made me wise. Kongol feels dizzy. Gigantos lose to books. Or Kongol. Something about dragons. Also talks about dragoons, too. Say that the Serdian War was started from the Dragoon Spirit that was bought brought by Lloyd. Split up and look. Let's just do it! So I have to use my brain for the first time in a long time! <laughs> Ungle read human words? If Rose were here, she would tell us a lot. We'll be back when they finish with their errands. We have to do what we can for now. Poor Kongol. It's about winglies, I guess. I guess? Kongol cannot read human characters. Kongol looks pictures. He read it. Winglies are people with wings of light who employ magical power. They had their glory 11,000 years ago and had enormous magical power that could float colossal cities. City floats. It's unimaginable in the current world became extinct after the war with humans who were seeking their liberation. While not entirely extinct, we did just fucking murder one. Lennis, who was a wingly, was alive. Besides, us dragoons are supposed to be only a legend. Legend does not necessarily tell the truth. Take a look at this picture. Humans and dragons. No. Dragoons and dragons. And what is this? Mirage manipulated by winglies. See book again? No! No! No, I didn't want to see the book again! Okay. Shanna, did you find out something? This book is talking about divine mood objects. They're just divine objects from a legend to begin with. There are no details. We can find out the meaning of the divine moon objects. I think we can find out what Lloyd wants. Okay, let me read the part I found. After the dragon campaign, humans controlled the continent of Endinus and divided the continent into four and established three new countries. To the east, Serdio. To the south, Tiberoa. To the north, Milisiso. And to the west of the continent, the untouched land, the Death Frontier! Wow. Each country shared three divine objects inherited from the Winglies as proof of their alliance. Divine moon objects are said to conceal magical power. However, their usage is unknown. This is unknown. <laughs> usage is unknown. Hmm. This mystery must be hidden in there. I'll look into it more. There's so many books! I 
Okay, everybody else is... Yeah, I saw the legendary armor. What is this, like a little museum? Ending up ending of the dragon campaign. It's a wall painting with the dragon campaign. Depiction of dragoons. Painting of the divine tree. Wingleys. Relics from Neat to Tragic Village. St. Lovia? I've seen this somewhere. Wait. Hey, that's the Phantom Ship! Yeah, but I don't have 10k. This book talks about the Dragoons. It's not worth getting anyway. I didn't think so. Dragoons from Legend? Yes, it is. Heroes of the Dragon campaign. According to this, the first new dragoons to come along since that time. Maybe. Dragoons are to be called when history requires them. History requires them. Is that now? What do you think? Levitz was a dragoon. And Graham... Graham! Dole and Lennis, too. Were their deaths necessary? That is what only history can tell. I, of course, don't know. However, it all started out from the dragoon spirit that Lloyd brought. Lloyd's a part of history that is necessary. Our journey seems to be dragged along by his fate. In spite of the fact that they were humans, the seven heroes who led the dragon campaign to victory 11,000 years ago Cross the sky and cast spells. After they fulfilled their roles, they vanished with the dragoon spirits. It's as if it were some unavoidable fate. There's a lot of reading. Oh my goodness. This legend seems to be telling us that after this journey, we will vanish. I doubt that. I mean, Rose is here. It's a marvelous place. It seems all the wisdom that humans can possibly know is here. Reading a book on politics now. This is very. Can you do politics after we take care of Lloyd? Uh, y yes, indeed. <laughs> Let me read the portion that talks about dragons. Oh god. According to this, dragons are the second most powerful species of all 107 creatures given life by the divine tree. Their attacks and life power overwhelm others. However, the creator Soa created a balance by reducing the dragon's intelligence. Therefore, they were to be controlled by humans with their wisdom. During the dragon campaign 11,000 years ago, they had fierce battles against virages manipulated by winglies and couldn't avoid being annihilated. They weren't annihilated like the book says. True. Again, they were ruled by the dragoons. Look for more. Hmm. Hmm. Led to the dragon campaign. Excuse me, sir? What do you need? I'm acting superior again. Of course, I am superior. I prefer being a hit with girls over feeling superior. Care about those things? Seems you're interested in the dragon campaign. Winglies, divine moon objects, dragons, and dragoons. This all had something to do with the dragon campaign. And Lloyd has something to do with the dragon campaign? Dragon campaign is my specialty. Maybe I can be of assistance. Tell me. Only no fragments. Let's see. This is the legend of the dragon campaign that I know. Seven Dragoon Warriors in the legend of the Dragon Campaign. Dragoons, reputed to be the incarnation of dragons. With dragons at their side, the Dragoons fought boldly. However, 
In the age when the legend was reality, the Winglies dominated all, even the gods. The gods answered to dictator Melbu Fama's prayers and granted him ultimate power. But the power was abused. The earth of Saint Imperial Gloriano was scorched by the gods' fire and became ashen. The anger and sadness of the people was fuel for the Dragoon's cause. Then at last they freed the gods. Without the gods' power, the Winglies perished, and our age, the Human Age, began. Thereafter, the gods floated in the sky. For 11,000 years, they have been looking over the world as the moon that never sets. That is one hell of a name. That is the story. Did you find out something related to Lloyd? Oh, well that's unfortunate. You're already here, so you might as well check the reference room upstairs. Are there more books? No, it contains the historical material of Melissa So. For other people, it may seem to be mere trash. However, for our country, are all historic objects. This is something left by the black monster that brought an inferno down on this country. The black monster? It's already been 18 years. Surpri it's surprising a young man like you knows about it. I was born in meat. God, are you a survivor from the village? Yes. Black monster this, black monster that. This is the stained glass of the church in Neat. Do you remember seeing this? Yes, faintly, but I do remember. It was really a monster are the only things that survived the Black Flame. Know anything about what happened in Neat back then? Any survivors, or...? I know only one. Who's that? You! Oh. Second sa sacred sister of Mila Sisso, Sister Luana. Seems you don't know her. However tell you a little bit about the black monster. There's a legend about the black monster and the moon child. Would you like to hear it? Yes? It's ironic, but people who visit the church in Neat pray for their own happiness by looking at the stained glass which shows the legend of the black monster and the moon child. Oh boy. Why did the gods create him? black monster. He appears in various legends as a demon who rebels against and devours the gods. An evil plague that rejects peace in the world. A god that is the moon that never sets. The moon that never sets glows red every 108 years. It is a sign that a herald will be sent to earth. The Herald is known to us as the Moonchild. The legend says the Moonchild revives the gods on Earth and purifies the world. The Black Monster abhors, hates, and despises it, and kills the Moonchild. This sad karma is endless. This god stays forever in the sky world is a never-ending chaos.
Well and neat. Hey. Nothing has changed. Fo! Am I hesitating? Silly. Mother. Back. Mother, it's been a while. It's a tragic day. I lost my sight. I'm able to see today, thanks to the love of many people like Seti here. May the divine tree bless all the victims of the tragedy. Is it? Oh! I didn't mean to surprise you. You are? Just a traveler. Please don't be alarmed. The people of Neat. My mother, sleeping here. Are you here to visit the grave, too? Yes, so. And you know about Neat? Princess Luvia, I knew it, okay. I'll never tell you. Oh! Yeah, who does that look like? That looks. person looks vaguely familiar. I can't see. Mom, I'm scared. Princess Luvia, where did you hide the moon child? I don't know. What kind of spitefulness do you have toward our village? Want to die with your daughter? Mom, I'm scared. Princess Luvia left for the sea. This must be enough to satisfy you. Now leave this village. The chance to eliminate the moon child comes only once every 108 years time of birth when the moon glows a blood color. The newly born moon child has a magic power. The magic power changes everyone around into an evangelist for the god. A servant to help prepare for the descending of the god. Ah! My objectives will not be satisfied until I kill every single person who is present as the moon child passed through. Mom? Answer me. It's hot! It's burning! Mom! Oh no. I don't know, the black monster looks suspiciously like Rose. <laughs> it's a miracle that I survived. Let's see. We're blinded back then? Yes. However, the god imparted me with something else. Sister Luana can see people's souls. Uh oh. She can feel their pain, too. Because of this, Sister Luana has suffered. <laughs> I can appreciate this power that I have because it allows me to heal the pain in people's hearts. Um, can she. Can she, she know? <laughs> Need to heal the pain in your heart. Please tell me, I can help you. It's not necessary. By the way, are you done? Yes. We'll go back to Denningrad soon. May I join you? Even if you're with the knight, even if you are with knights, the forest is filled with dangerous monsters. I can protect you from them. See, and I'll ask you to come with us. The knights are just like, what? What? Okay. A 
been a long time. Wonder if everybody's doing all right? Wonder if they feel lonely without me? Wow! Hey, watch out! What's this coming through the, bo the boundary? <laughs> Who are you not knowing me? Meru? Is that you, Meru? Waraha? What? Hey! Long time no see, you look great! Think I'm really great? How could you leave without telling me? Where have you been? Hey! I came all the way back here! You don't need to yell at me! Aren't you happy to see me? Very happy to see you. Leaving the forest is our taboo. Left the forest, so I don't know if everybody else in the forest will forgive you, Meru. Who cares about taboos? Another silver-haired fuck? <laughs> everybody in this forest? And the humans outside? Both of us are living in the same world. How can we have to draw a line and lock ourselves in like this? That's what I want to know. And living in this forest forever. Wish I knew. I'm gonna ask the ancestor. I won't ask you anymore. What? Okay. So much for all the winglies being dead. <laughs> I'm home! Oops! Seems I'm not that welcome. It's Meru. Meru's back. This is my home! I can come home anytime. Such selfishness is not tolerated. There's no place to come home to, Meru. But that's true. You're the black sheep of the proud winglies. She is a wingly, okay. How dare you shamelessly come back? Thought you were satisfied with your decadent human life, weren't you? Ardell? What are you talking about? Back to the humans. Wait there. From the moment we destroy the humans. Stop it! Ancestor! Left the forest on your own volition. How come you came back? Just wanted to see everybody. In the forest is an unforgivable mortal sin. You know that when you left for the world of humans? As well as that, you could never come back here. Yes, I did, but it's strange. The world is 100 times bigger than this forest. There are, of course, bad humans. There are many good humans, too. Never met them, and you shouldn't hate them. For people who hate and det detest humans just because they are humans, their number is few. Just want to protect our life. That's all. And have always been afraid of the magic power of Winglies. Fear eventually turns itself into a need to ty tyrannize, ty tyrannize us, and take some action, either to subjugate or kill Winglies. Just because they're silver. <laughs> yeah. Just because they have wings. Humans are jealous because they don't have sick wings. That's why we need our own world like this forest where humans cannot enter. Go back to the other world. Your existence angers the others. Understand. I'll leave. Totally not because they were slavers, right? Mother! Leave the girl alone. Father, you must be kidding. That's the rule. 
We are going. Wow. Mother. Father. Must be hard for you. Must go back, Meru. Out of our forest at once. It's okay, we'll probably be back. talk between just the two of us. It seems you received a horrible welcome. It's nothing to me. Stop talking tough, Meru. It's just bad timing. Everybody's feeling tense lately. Wings look more like jetpacks, they do. Is that my fault, too? No. Recently, the Earth is surging. Don't you feel it, Meru? I've been feeling it a little. Animals in the forest are acting savage. This must be the cause, but what is this? Ancestor Blano said that it is an omen of a dragon coming back to life. It's not the usual one. And our ancestors who had much stronger magic power couldn't defeat it. What kind of dragon is that? It's the strongest dragon of all. The king of dragons. Seven magical eyes. Divine dragon. Divine dragon? Ancestor says that the seal has half dissolved. That's why everybody is nervous. <laughs> but we have a dragon buster and a dragon block staff, don't we? Sword for killing dragons. The dragon buster has been lost. It, it wasn't me. We know. As it was hidden with the staff in a place that only the ancestor could open. And the talk you wanted between just the two of us is about the dragon? That too. What I really wanted to tell you is something else. Meru, don't leave me! I want you to be at my side! I can protect you if everybody opposes you! You're kind, as always. But if you do, you'll be hated as well. Gotta go. Everybody's waiting for me. You have friends. They're all cool. They show me and teach me many things. Ciao! Meru! Don't leave me, Meru! No! Don't leave me! Rip. Explosions! Is that Deathwing? He doesn't look very friendly. What are you going to do? You going to pursue that man, Lloyd? What else are we gonna fucking do? If you get time, go visit Neat. You cannot change the past, however you can face it. I face it. Maybe you can find out where you are from and where you want to go. I guess he wasn't just a snob. 
So Shanna is the moon child. Rose is the black monster. And there's a giant dragon. To wait for Rose and Meru. And then Meru's a wingly. Oh? Anything wrong? No. Just felt a little shiver, that's all. Feel something is wrong. And Hashel, Hashel's Dart's grandfather. Albert is king of Sodio, and then Kongle is Kongle. <laughs> Kongle's the last giganto, yes. We have quite the crew. I'm guessing I can't enter the castle. Ceremony going on, please come on another time. Okay. Fine, be that way. Am I fully healed? Yeah. Uh now what? I guess we go we go to neat now? Oh. Hey, Rose! Did you find out anything about Lloyd? We find the wolf? Yeah. We ran into the wolf. And then the wolf took off. No, there's no trace yet. Just happened to meet them. This is Luana and Seti. Seti? Seti. Excuse me. Had some changes in your body recently. What are you talking about? Mr. Luana, Sister Senti. Thank you, Sister Luana. Now I can walk outside. How can I thank you? It's fine. That is what we, the Sacred Sisters, are for. I'd like to talk to you. Can we go someplace else? are the renowned sacred sisters of Mele Siso, Sister Luana and Sister Seti. It's my pleasure to meet you. It's my pleasure to meet the heroes who defeated the sea dragon in Elisa Bay. It's really lucky to follow her from me. Sister Luana, heard about you from librarian Oot. Something in common, our survivors of Neat. So you went through that tragedy. Do you remember anything about other survivors? The whereabouts of the black monster or anything? The black monster's right there! <laughs> remember is only the sound of terror. Sorry. I think I can help you. See, but it's okay. The fact that somebody survived that tragedy means I can have hope that continuing my journey will someday lead to the black monster. With you too. Oh, food time from Jamie! Does mean you went to Neat too, Rose? Thank you, Jamie! Have some good food. Told you, I just, I just happened to be there. Sister Luana, what about the health of Mr. Dart? Yes, what do you mean the unusualness of my body? I see that you people have strong powers, power that is beyond humans. It seems that the source of your power is in turmoil. Another power that has influence over you is anticipating the liberation. This is what I see, that made no sense. That's all I can tell. Confuses you more, please forgive me. Yeah, it confused the shit out of me. <laughs> oh! No, Sister Luana! This is. The answer to your question. I find out the truth about the entity that has influence over you now. 
or is that in human nature? Humans fight by making themselves enter insanity. It's the same for revenge. This is a tool to amplify the insanity. Insanity is the source of power for dragoons. Dragon Knight. Oh, yeah. Okay. We've gotten told this before. Tart? I'm fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> He's like that one meme, the dog in the fire. Just everything is fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. says hello flying like a drunk yeah that looks like a red-eyed dragon fucking left. Okay. Bye. To anger or animosity. These humans are all things. Hey, buddies! Oh my god, oh my god. Could it be? Rival of the one who glares through seven diabolic eyes and who crosses the sky with seven wings. Oh wait, that is... That is the... the... the um, king of dragons? Okay was true. The King of Dragons sealed by the long gone Wingleys rests in the ground of Millis So. Once it awakens again, it shall bring terror to the world. Again, we're facing a dragon. What are you people? Are the dragoons? Dragon knights who have the power to rule dragons. Dragoons. Legendary dragon knights. That is the reason why I feel a strong power in you. Why did the Dragoons come to this country? It's because of that dragon? No, we're here to pursue a man. Sneaky, dangerous man. Even for those with the strength of us Dragoons. What did that man do? Engaged in secret maneuvers during the Serdian War and formed a conspiracy for... Oh no, I don't know how to pronounce this. Coup de... Coup Tiberoa. Oh, I got it right! Oh. Is he going to bring evil to Melissa So? Oh! Is that the dragon? See, Queen Teresa. Seems that we need the power of you, dragoons. She's back. So <laughs> Sodium Wars? That is not what I said. That is not what I said. Yeah, th there's the armor. There's the armor. Do I... Yeah, we're getting into the really good stuff. And of course, right as we get into the really good stuff, and there's a fucking dragon, I gotta go. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll be back tomorrow. I am going to be visiting my mom this weekend. Just so you guys are aware. Um, let me think. I'm going over there like Friday night, so I'll be able to stream Friday. I just might not be able to stream Sunday and then I don't know. I know I won't be around Sunday, but I don't know about anything after that. It kind of depends on what my mom's schedule is like at her work. Did save, right? I save again just to make sure. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, that's gonna be all for me for today. We haven't found a single stardust in this place yet, which is bothering me. But take care of yourselves, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye! Have a good one. Madness Hero! <laughs>